Hi, now we're going to talk about end user profile, what it is, why we do it, how it fits in overall, and then specifically, how do we build an end user profile. Each customer that we're going to think about is made up of an end user and the decision making unit. Um, the end user is the one who actually uses the product. The decision making unit, which we're going to get into a lot more detail later, is made up of primarily four different elements. First of all, the advocate. This is the person who's going to push forward to make the decision. The second is the primary economic buyer. This is the person who has the money to buy the product. Third, there are influencers who might influence the decision. And fourth, there are veto, peop veto uh, power holders who would veto the decision because it didn't meet regulatory or certain standards. So that's the decision-making unit, which we're going to talk more about later. But for now, we are going to focus on the end user. We focus on the end user because there is no value created unless the end user actually uses the product. The money may or may not come from the end user, but the end user, by using the product, creates value. For instance, if you think about you're using Google, you use Google and the advertisers then advertise because you use Google. So the end user is the one that we're going to focus on. We're going to build a profile of that end user because that will help us determine the total addressable market and make us more clear about what our beachhead market is. Why target specific demographics with the end user? Well, the beachhead market is, is, is kind of, uh, can be narrow relative to what we think, but there can be a lot of variability within the end users. They can be young, they can be old, they can live in urban areas, they can live in suburban areas. They have different goals, aspirations, and fears. But when we try to sell to a group, we want to get as homogenous as we can because if we sell, uh, when we sell to them, if it's successful, we want them to tell other people and them to adopt the product quickly. We can't have a heterogeneous group, so we're going to try to make it as homogenous as possible. That's why we do specific demographics in the end user profile. Um, you don't want to try to be everything to everyone. Uh, why? Because if we try to describe all these different groups, it's kind of like trying to catch many rabbits at once. We'll end up catching none. Whereas if we focus on one rabbit, we have a chance of getting them. So we're looking for a subset of users that think the same way, that have the same demographics, that there will be strong word of mouth within them. When we look at building the end user profile, we'll look for many different characteristics, but some of the general ones that will start, and you have to think whether these are applicable to your environment, are gender. Are they male, female? How old are they? Saying they're 18 to 55 is way too broad, but we might say 18 to 24. What income range are they? What, where are they located? What motivates them the most? What do they fear the most? This is very, very important. We'll also add other personal ca characteristics to that. Who is their hero? Um, who do they look up to the most? Where do they go for vacations? What kind of car do they drive? Wh what type, where do they go for dinner? Where do they go in the morning? Do they go to Starbucks? Do they go to Dunkin' Donuts? What newspapers do they read? What websites do they go to? If they watch TV shows, what TV shows do they watch? What is the general reason they're going to buy this product? Is it image? Is it peer pressure? Is it cost savings? Is it driving revenue? What specific characteristics make them unique that when we see those characteristics, we say, aha, and when we don't see them, we deselect people? So when we think about the end user profile, it's a composite that represents our target customer group in, in, a, homo you know, in a homogenous way. The next question is, does your founding team include someone from this end user profile? It's a huge advantage if you understand the customer from the beginning and, and, and your founding team includes someone, because then you're going to understand in depth how they think about that, and that will be critical to your success. It will facilitate open and honest discussions with other people, because you understand how they work. If you don't have this target you know, customer on your, on your team, then it's important that you get out there and get someone on your team and start getting them at least advising you right away. But in the end, getting them on your team is going to be critical to your success because you want the line between your company and the customer to be very blurred. If there's a distinct kind of 
you know, there's the customer, you know, they're an animal in the zoo and we're sitting over here. That's not going to work. So that's, that's why we do the end user profile, what it is and how to do it. We're going to build on that going forward quite a bit as you'll see.